privilege that we have to come and to release some things. How many, got some, how many of you got some things you're going to release unto the Lord tonight? Yes. And then how many of you want to receive from God? God, I want to hear you. Listen, the reward of prayer is hearing the voice of God. And so we thank God uh, for this opportunity. I was sharing with uh, our prayer class uh, a few uh, days ago that there's this statement that I ran across years ago that I wanted to share with you tonight. And the statement says, nothing will overtake you when you have the capacity to hear from God. That when we have the capacity to not just pray and release, but to pray and receive, the Bible says nothing will overtake you. He tells us through the prophet Jeremiah, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things. Watch this, that you know not of. So there are some things, amen, that God will prep you for. Amen. Somebody say, God is preparing me in prayer. Amen. Say it again. God is preparing me in prayer. Amen. To all of you that's streaming in tonight, I want you to type that in. God is preparing me in prayer. Amen. Yes, God is preparing us in prayer. And so we have uh, 62 days uh, tomorrow, 61 days left uh, in 2023. And I believe that uh, God is going to prepare us. God is going to make us strong. God is going to give us his peace that over these last 61 days that the strength of the Lord is going to be ours. And we're going to pray that. For some reason, many of you can attest to this, the enemy loves to attack at the end of the year at the transition, at the closing out of a season in an unusual way. And so tonight we come to cover, we come to consecrate. Tonight we come to uh, intentionally draw nigh unto the Lord so that we can finish strong. Amen. And so I thank and bless God for this on tonight. If you're watching us tonight, I want you to like, share. I want you to tag somebody tonight. Amen. Somebody that you know needs prayer tonight. Somebody that you know needs a breakthrough. Somebody that you know needs to hear from God. I want you to tag them on tonight. And we're not going to be uh, intentionally long tonight. We're just going to let the Spirit of God lead us. I want to lift up this scripture uh, for all of us as we head into these last two months of the year. Uh, Ecclesiastes verse 7, uh, chapter 7 rather, and verse number 8. It says, the end of a matter is better than the beginning. The end of a matter is better than the beginning. And patient of spirit is better than haughtiness of spirit. Amen. We're going to pray today that as we would continue these next 61 days starting tomorrow, that the end of this year is going to be better than the beginning. Hallelujah. Come on, let's declare that tonight. Say it. My end is going to be better than the beginning. Amen. Type that in the comments tonight. My end is going to be better than the beginning. So no matter what you've seen, no matter what you're seeing right now, we're going to speak that our end is going to be better than the beginning. Come on, I wish I had those who really knew that life and death is in the power of the tongue. That my end is going to be better than the beginning. And so tonight, we thank God for a strong finish. Amen. We thank God. We give God permission to blow our minds over these next 61 days. We thank God for being present with us over these next 61 days. We thank God that we're going to draw close to God over these next 61 days. God, we may have drifted. God, we may have become stagnant. We may have fallen off, but we're going to draw nigh unto the Lord. James 4 and 8 says, when you draw nigh unto him, he'll draw nigh unto you. Amen. And so we're going to do that even on uh, tonight. Come on, let's begin to pray all over the building. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to take your prayer posture tonight uh, as we would go into a time of adoration where we would just begin to adore God, where we would divorce ourselves from everything we've been through today, everything that's presently occupying space in our mind and our spirit spirit, in our emotions, and today we begin to verbally adore God. Amen. Begin to lift him up. So right there where you are, come on, prayer involves your mouth. Amen. Prayer involves you speaking some things. Amen. And so tonight we come to speak. Amen. Uh, words of adoration unto the Lord. Come on, do that tonight if you don't mind. Hallelujah, God. 
Hallelujah, God. You're worthy, oh Father. We give you glory tonight, God. You are great and you are mighty. Come on, I want to hear your voice tonight. Yes, you are great and you are mighty, God. And God, we praise you tonight and we give you glory tonight. We lift up your name, hallelujah. We thank you tonight that you are high and you lifted up tonight, Lord God. We thank you that you are high and you are lifted up, oh God. You are above everything. There is nothing above you, Lord God. God. Hallelujah. You are mighty and you are incredible. Hallelujah. You are mighty and you are incredible. Hallelujah. We remind ourselves of who you are. You are great, O oh God. You are creator and sustainer of everything. And we adore you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Creation declares your glory, but tonight we speak of your glory. Hallelujah. Tonight we speak of how strong you are and how how mighty you are, Lord God. We thank you tonight just for the knowledge of knowing you, Lord God, for knowing who you are, Lord God. We bless you tonight that you are sovereign, hallelujah, that you are a sovereign God, which means you're in control, God. You know about everything, Lord God. You are in everything, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God. And what you did not order, you allowed, oh God. And so tonight we thank you that you are a sovereign God tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and thank him tonight and de declare that he's sovereign. Amen. That there's no restrictions. There's no boundaries. There's no limitations, oh God. There's no cap. Amen. There's no jurisdiction to your authority. You are a sovereign God. You are a sovereign God of the universe. You are a sovereign God of everything that was created. You are a sovereign God over creation and tonight we thank you for being a sovereign God hallelujah that you are in control that there is no hallelujah loss of control you are in control and tonight we thank you for that Lord God not only are you sovereign but you are powerful God you are mighty God hallelujah there's nothing that's stronger that can overtake you Lord God we thank you right now Lord God that you are mighty God you are the only true and living God. We bless you tonight. Hallelujah. There's no other God besides Jehovah. Hallelujah. There's no other God besides the God Elohim of creation. There's no other God beside the God who spoke and life came into existence and creation came into manifestation. Come on, I want us to adore him tonight. And so we adore you tonight, oh God. We worship you tonight, oh God. We bow before your presence tonight, oh God. We declare and re-decree tonight, oh God. Hallelujah, that you don't have to beg us and make us, Lord God. Hallelujah, you don't have to uh, make us worship you out of compulsion, Lord God. But we worship you from revelation. We worship you because we got knowledge of you. We open up our mouths and we say, let God arise and let all of our enemies is be scattered tonight, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give you glory tonight. What a privilege, God. What an honor it is to glorify you, Lord God. What an honor it is to magnify your name, Lord God. What an honor it is at the very beginning of the month for us to push aside everything else on our schedule and say, tonight your name be praised. Hallelujah. Tonight your name be lifted up, oh God. Tonight we magnify you tonight. Lord God. We thank you at the very beginning of this month, Lord God. You get the first fruit of our worship, God. You get the first fruit of our praise, oh God. It has nothing to do with what's going on in our life. It has nothing to do with how good things are or how bad things may be presently. We want you to know you're worthy of it all, God. Hallelujah. Tell him tonight you're worthy of it all, God. You're worthy of it all, God. Come on. Tell him you're worthy of it all. When I'm tired, you're worthy of it, Lord God. 
God. When I'm energized, you're worthy of it, God. When I'm passionate, you're worthy of it, God. When I'm down and low, you're worthy of it, God. When things are great, you're worthy of it, God. When I'm going through the valley of the shadow of death, you're worthy of it, God. We want you to know that you're worthy at all times. You're worthy in all conditions. You're worthy under all circumstances tonight, oh God. And we give you glory tonight. And we magnify you tonight. Somebody that's watching on stream tonight, won't you just magnify the Lord right now? Those of you that's in the sanctuary, magnify the Lord now. Open up your mouth. I can't do this part for you. I can lead you there, but I can't do it for you. I want you to open up your mouth and say, God, be glorified. Hallelujah. God, be lifted up tonight. Hallelujah. God, you be exalted tonight. Hallelujah. You're exalted in the heavens. You're exalted in the earth. You're exalted in this church. You're exalted in our hearts. You're exalted every place that the sole of our foot shall tread upon, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord God, that the only way we got through October is because you led us, God. The only way that we are still alive to tell of your goodness, Lord, is because you've led us through it all, Lord God. And God, we have faith enough to know that the only way we're going to get through November is because you are watching over us, is because you are keeping us, is because your hand is upon us mightily, Lord God. And so tonight, we draw nigh unto you. Hallelujah. Tonight, Lord God, we lean not to our own understanding, but all month long, we acknowledge you. Hallelujah. Declare that tonight, I acknowledge you, Lord God. I acknowledge you, Lord God. I acknowledge your word. I acknowledge your authority. I acknowledge, Lord, your saving grace, Lord. I acknowledge your favor upon my life, Lord God. I acknowledge your hand that keeps me, Lord God. Come on, we acknowledge you, Lord God, that you, Lord, guide us, hallelujah, with your eye, that you direct us with your wisdom, hallelujah. We acknowledge you, Lord God, and we thank you today, Lord God, that as we position ourselves for 61 days of strength, for 61 days of wholeness, for 61 days of peace, Lord God. We thank you that we shall not be overtaken, hallelujah, because those who can hear from God shall never ever be overtaken. We thank you tonight for our capacity to hear from you, Lord God, for your word encourages our heart. Your word gives us perspective. Your word clears the confusion. Your word builds our faith. Your word begins to uh, uh, lift up our bow down heads. Your word begins to give us the strength to run on. And so tonight we acknowledge you, Lord God, that we can't live by bread alone, but we have to live by every word that proceeds out of your mouth tonight, Lord God. So we thank you that we're not just going to release, but we're going to receive. We're going to release cares to you tonight. Some of you tell God right now, I release that thing to you. There are cares in this space tonight. There are cares in this place tonight. And tonight we release it to you tonight. Come on, tell God I give it to you, God. Father, I ask that you would give us the capacity to release tonight. Not to release and rear it back in, but we release it into your hand, Lord. We leave it there, Lord God. We lay it at your feet, Lord God. We release it off of our emotions, Lord God. We release it off of our mind, Lord God. We release it out of our spirits tonight, Lord God, and we thank you and we bless you tonight, Lord God, that we are putting it in your hand. Your word that declares that we should cast our cares tonight. Hallelujah. There are cares in this room tonight. There are cares for those that stream in tonight. Oh, but God, we're not nervous. We're not overwhelmed because we know how to cast cares on him who is able, on him who promised, on him who is faithful tonight, Lord God. We thank you tonight Lord God for your faithfulness Lord God we thank you tonight for your answers Lord God we thank you tonight that you don't leave us in it by ourselves but you come alongside of us Lord God we thank you for walking with us Lord God we thank you Lord for being a heavy load bearer Lord God we thank you right now Lord God for lifting the load Lord God we thank you tonight Lord God for releasing the burden Lord God we thank you tonight Lord God for cutting the stress tonight Lord God we thank you Lord 
Father God, for releasing peace, Lord, where there's confusion, for releasing strength where there's weakness, Lord God. We bless you and we honor you tonight, for you are God of peace tonight. Hallelujah tonight. Come on, just begin to adore him right there. Hallelujah tonight. We give you glory, God. We magnify you, God. You are a sovereign God. You are God that opens doors for us. You are God that makes ways for us. You are God that looks out for us. Hallelujah. You are God that keeps on showing your favor and your grace for us tonight. And we thank you for it even on tonight. We thank you for your grace that's on our house. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight that our homes are covered. Hey, Amen. Tonight we plead the blood of Jesus now. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. That you know us, Lord God. You know our address, Lord God. You know our situations, Lord God. You know what we wrestle with tonight, Lord God. And we thank you for a God that knows us, but you still love us. Hallelujah. We thank you for a God that know us. Hallelujah. But you're still merciful towards us. We thank you that you know us, Lord God, but you're not through with us, Lord God. Because you are still yet uh, manifesting your righteousness. You're still manifesting your glory in our lives, oh God. We bless you for it on tonight. I want you to clap your hands all over the building. Let's worship God because he's not through with us. Oh, the devil told us God was finished with us. The devil told us that what we see is all there is. But we thank you tonight, God, that you're not finished with us. We thank you tonight, Lord, you're still pruning us. You're still producing in us. You're still cultivating in us. You're still directing, developing in us, Lord God. We thank you that you're not through with us tonight. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your name, oh God. Yes, it, we have not yet appeared. Hallelujah. What we shall be, Lord. God. Thank you for working on us, God. Thank you, Lord, for producing an appetite in us, hallelujah, that pleases you, an appetite that glorifies your name, an appetite to be used of you, to be glorified of you tonight, Lord God. We give you glory for it even on tonight, hallelujah. We give you praise for it tonight. We lift up your name, hallelujah. We magnify you, God. Yes, we give your name glory and honor and praise tonight. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Come on, just begin to worship him right there. Amen. Yes, we thank you tonight, oh God. Yes, for there is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you, Lord God. Thank you for being the lift of our head. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being the lift of our head tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you for being, I hear the Lord saying, I'm lifting your head tonight. Yes, thank you, Lord God, for being a lift of our head. So much that can put our head down, Lord. But we thank you for being the lifter of our heads, Lord God. Hallelujah tonight. Thank you for being the lifter of our heads tonight. Yes, God. So that we won't be overwhelmed. You're the lifter of our heads tonight, God. So we won't be overwhelmed. You're the lifter of our heads tonight. We thank you for being the lifter of our heads, God. When we don't have the support that we need, you're the lifter of our heads, Lord God. Hallelujah. When we don't have nobody else to walk with us, you're the lifter of our heads, oh God. When there's so much that's in front of us, Lord God, you're the lifter of our heads, oh God. And not only are you the lifter of our heads, you're the wind at our back. Hallelujah. You're the wind at our back. You keep us pushing forward, Lord God. We thank you for it even on tonight, Lord God. So we thank you right now that over these next 61 days, we will not be overwhelmed because you are the lifter of our heads. You are the lifter of our heads. You are the lifter of our heads. Bad news will not cause us to hang our head, Lord God. Disappointment will not cause us to hang our head, oh God. Challenges will not cause us to hang our head, oh God, because you are the lifter of our head. We thank you for that tonight, Lord God. We thank you even tonight, God, that as we end the, that as we come to the end of the year, God, that we will not be overextended. Hallelujah. We will not be overextended, Lord God. Yes, God, that we will know balance in our lives, oh God. We will not be overextended, taking on more than we can bear, Lord God, trying to be everything that everybody Lord God. Oh, we thank you tonight. We will not be overextended emotionally, Lord God. Lending and giving our emotions in places that causes us to be bad.
barren and dry and depleted, Lord God. We thank you tonight that we will not be overextended, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord, that our strength shall not be depleted, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord God, yes, uh, that as we would seek you over these next 61 days, Lord God, we're going to understand wisdom. We're going to understand balance. We're going to understand, Lord God, how to keep the car in the middle of the road, how to keep this thing going towards you, Lord God. We thank you tonight that we will not be overextended in the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, we rebuke you now because we know you want us to be overextended. We know you want us to be at the end of our nerves, but we thank you tonight in the name of Jesus that our prayer is a weapon tonight, that our prayer is offense tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're going to remind us, nope, that ain't the way we should go. Nope, that's too much for you to bear in this season. Nope, you cannot do that. You cannot be everything to everybody. We thank you tonight, Lord God, yes, that what we can't handle, we're going to release in your hand. That what we wish we could do, but we can't do, we're going to trust you to do, Lord God. We thank you tonight that we shall not be overextended, Lord God. We thank you for putting us on a pace tonight, yes, a pace that promotes your peace. A pace that promotes, hallelujah, your peace. A pace that allows us to take our time, Lord God, and walk into those things that you have prepared for us in the season that you have prepared it for us, Lord God. We thank you tonight. Clap your hands. We will not be overwhelmed. We will not be overextended. Help us to understand our limitations, God. Help us to understand our limitations, oh God. Help us to understand our limitations, oh God. Help us to know that while we are made in your image and your likeness, we are not you, Lord God. We are not all powerful. We are not all knowing. We are not all encompassing, Lord God. We are not uh, all wise, Lord God. You are the only all wise God. Help us today to know our position, Lord God. Help us to not try to play you and be you for other people, Lord God. We thank you in this season, Lord God, yes, that we're going to learn how to walk by faith, Lord God. We're going to learn how not to try and do everything in our own strength, Lord God. We're going to learn how to cast some stuff on you, Lord God. We're going to learn how to trust some things with you, Lord God. We thank you that we will not be overwhelmed and we will not be overextended, Lord God, because you're going to give us wisdom. You're going to give us wisdom. You're going to give us wisdom. We're going to know what to receive and what to release. You're going to give us wisdom. Oh, we thank you for wisdom tonight. Thank you for, Lord God, what things to hold on to, what things to release, Lord God. We declare right now, Lord God, that we're not supposed to hold on to everything, every bit of bad news every bit of disappointing news yes God everything that will come to upset our spirit Lord God we pray right now that you would give us the wisdom to release right now yes we release it come on tell God now nah, I release that to you some of you just on this first day of November you've held on to some stuff you were supposed to release God I will not hold on to that it will not mess up my Thursday because I heard it on Wednesday Lord God oh you're gonna teach us how to number our days Lord God you're gonna teach us how to walk in wisdom oh God you're going to teach us, Lord, not to carry over burdens and carry over stress and carry over cares and carry over concerns. So, God, we ask you tonight for a divine release because if the truth is told, we carry some stuff we got in March and we carry in burdens that we were picked up in July, Lord God. Oh, but tonight, if we're going to finish strong, if our ladder is going to be greater than the beginning, Lord God, we got to release some stuff to you, Lord God. We got to lay it at your feet. We got to put it in your hands. We got to trust you with it. We got to know that you're God enough to handle it. We got to know that you're wise enough to solve it, Lord God. We got to know that before it became a problem for us, you already had a solution for it tonight. So we will not be overwhelmed and we will not be overextended. We curse it now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We will not be depressed because of challenges that we have, Lord. Jesus has already bore. We don't have to bear it again. Jesus Jesus has already borne all of our trouble and all of our tribulation and all of our cares and we will not bear it again. We will cast it tonight. 
I pray tonight for a casting tonight. Yes, God, yes. Yes, tonight, 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 tonight. I feel something right there. Tonight, Lord, release some things out of our spirit that we've been carrying, Lord God. Release, Lord, those words the devil has been whispering in our ear, those words of defeat, those words that say we'll never move on, we'll never keep going, we'll never get over this hurdle, this setback, this disappointment, this situation. We release it to you tonight, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord God. God, that Jesus is a beast of burden. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight that Jesus is a beast of burden. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight that Jesus is a beast of burden, Lord God. And so we thank you tonight, Lord God. Yes, for those who may be bitter and those who may be heartbroken and those, Lord God, who may be disquieted in their spirit, Lord God. Specifically tonight, as the Spirit of the Lord is leading us, we pray for men that are bitter, Lord God. We pray for men that are heartbroken and they can't give voice to it. They can't articulate it. They don't know how to share it. They've been rejected and they've been walked away from, Lord God. But we pray tonight for men that are broken and bruised and bitter and battered, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord God, that we don't have to be strong for everybody else at the expense of our own health, Lord God. We thank you for building us up tonight, Lord God. Come on, I need you to pray for a man right now. I need you to pray for a man right now. I need you to call his name out. Come on, because while he's being strong for a family or while he's being strong uh, for a community or while he's being strong as a leader, hallelujah, somebody has to encourage the encourager, hallelujah. Somebody has to build up the builder, Lord God. Somebody has to protect in prayer those who protect us in prayer. So we thank you tonight, hallelujah, that you're covering men tonight. You said I'll heal the brokenhearted and I'll bow Bind up all of their wounds, Lord. So we pray for fathers tonight that are bitter. We pray for uncles tonight that have been bruised for a long time. We pray for men and sons tonight, Lord God, that's been broken in ways that our eyes can't see tonight. And we ask tonight, Lord God, that you would build them up. And these last 61 days, they're going to finish like they're brand new. Hallelujah. They're going to finish like they're brand new, Lord God. Yes, they're going to be a mighty army, Lord God. They're going to be a mighty army, Lord God. They're going to be a mighty army, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Pray for that man right now. Pray for that man. Spirit of God is saying pray for men who's been through trauma. Pray for men that's been through trauma. Come on. Pray for men that's been through trauma. Come on, say, do it, God. Do it, God. Heal in the name of Jesus. Yes, come on. We pray that they would recover. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We pray that they would recover in the name of Jesus. Come on, we're praying for men that's been through childhood trauma, that's been through daddy trauma, that's been through marital trauma. Yes, God, yes, men go through marital trauma. We pray right now that you would heal them now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for men, Lord God. Yes, we're stubborn, some of us, because we've been through so much and we've hurt so much, Lord God, and we had to endure and keep going in spite of so much. Come on, I want you to pray right now in the name of Jesus Lord God that we don't have men who are hurt and in turn they hurt others and they disappoint others Lord God we pray tonight Lord God that you would do a quick work in them we pray over these next 61 days that there's going to be a revival of men hallelujah God that you're drawing them by your power and you're drawing them by your spirit Lord God and we're just talking about older men we thank you for the youth Lord God you said in the last day you gon' you gon' draw the youth, Lord God. So we bring out our, we bring out son-in-laws, Lord God. We bring out brother-in-laws, and we call them back to the altar in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We lay them at your feet right now, and we say, "You made them. You know all about them. You know their story. You know their history, Lord God." And we ask in the name of Jesus that you would mend them, Lord God. Yes, would you mend men tonight in the name of Jesus? Come on, I need y'all in prayer right there. Would you mend men tonight? Ask God to do that tonight. Would you mend men tonight? Yes, God. Come on, put that in the comments if you're watching me uh, on stream tonight. God says, I'm mending men tonight. Men who are crying internally. Men, men tonight. 
Men that don't know which way to go, but they got to act like they got it all together. Men, men tonight. Hallelujah. Men who have drifted away from you and they can't find their way back. Men, men tonight, Lord. Yes, God. Men who have lost their passion, Lord God. Men who are just walking throughout life with no vision and with no sense of direction. We pray tonight that you would mend them in the name of Jesus. Come on, y'all. We're doing warfare right now. Devil, you can't have their mind. Devil, we understand that a man represents the future. The man represents the seed. The man represents what God I want to do tomorrow, Lord. We thank you tonight that our men are secure and our future are is secure, Lord God. We bless you for it even on tonight, Lord God. Give them now, Lord God, emotional healing tonight. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Travail. Travail. Come on. Travail for your grandson. Come on. Travail tonight. Come on. Travail tonight. Come on, call out their name. We're in prayer now. we at the feet of the master. Come on, lay them before the Lord tonight. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, we need men with vision. We need men with that God can control their heart tonight. Oh, we thank you tonight. We bless you tonight. Come on, come on, about 60 more seconds. We're travailing for men tonight. Hallelujah, God. Men who are getting up, going to work every day, coming back home. But they are, they're broken, Lord God. They're bitter, Lord God. They're depressed, Lord. God, but they can't stop. They're continuing to move forward. We ask that you would build them now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask that you would crack that hard shell and you allow them to come to you tonight. May they come running saying, God, I need you. I can't do life without you. I can't lead without you. I can't build without you. I can't become without you. Come on, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight for strong husbands tonight, Lord God. We thank you tonight for strong strong fathers tonight, Lord God. We thank you for strong leaders tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we travail for our men tonight. Hallelujah. We travail for our men tonight. Our men shall no longer be missing in all matters that are significant. We thank you, Lord God. Yes, that our, our young boys and girls are going to have male role models. They're going to have male expressions of God in their life, Lord God. They're going to they're gonna see men praying and men worshiping and men teaching the word of God and men leading out in the community and men standing up, being who it is that you've called them to be. We pray tonight for men in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, about 20 more seconds. Some of you right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Come on. We pray for men, Lord, that's, that's addicted to drugs now. Hallelujah. Oh, we pray for men now, Lord God, that's addicted to substance abuse, Lord God. Hallelujah. Any substance, Lord God, any stronghold tonight, we declare and we decree in the name of Jesus over these next 61 days, it got to lose its hold. Over the next 61 days, it got to lose its grip. Come on, I need somebody right there. Over the next 61 days, yes, it got to break in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Over the next 61 days, strongholds in the mind got to break in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Cycles in the mighty name of Jesus have to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you now for mending men in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you some time right there. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you some time right there. Come on. Now. Come on. The warfare is thick right there. It's thick right there. You can't just touch that and move. Come on. That's there. Yes. Fill this place with men again, Lord God. Yes, God. Draw them by your power, Lord God. We can't do it by might or by power, but by your spirit tonight, Lord God. Come on. Every man that's significant in your life, I want you to lift them tonight. Every Every man that's important to you, that's valuable to you, I want you to lift them tonight, Lord God. Come on, lift up fathers tonight. Yes, God. We pray for their bodies now. We pray for their bodies to be healed, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for their minds to be strong in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for healing now for men specifically, Lord God. Yes, that while we're in the month of November, Lord God, we curse colon cancer. We curse pancreatic cancer. We curse it in in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We curse right now everything that 
will come to try to rob our physical health, Lord God. We thank you in the name of Jesus that you're mending physical bodies of men tonight. Hallelujah, God. Hey, we love you tonight. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for these women that are praying for them. We thank you for these women that are between the porch and the altar tonight. We thank you for the women who are crying out for men tonight, Lord God. We thank you that you're going to hear their prayers, Lord God, that you're going to begin to touch when nobody else can touch. You're going to begin to turn where nobody else can turn. Some of them are praying for men who are behind prison bars. Some of them are praying for men who are just way out there, Lord God, and they can't reach them. Oh, but we know your spirit searching all things, and your spirit reaching to the depths of all things, Lord God. We thank you for the women who are praying for men tonight, Lord God. We ask right now, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you'll begin to cut the confusion between the genders tonight, Lord God, that there won't be male fighting females and me females fighting males and males bashing females and females bashing males. Bring unity now, devil. We see what you're trying to do. You're trying to divide us. We pull the cover out from over you on tonight. We thank you tonight, yes, that we shall be unified, that we shall glorify, hallelujah, our sisters, and we shall encourage and lift up our brothers tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight for unity. Hallelujah. In this 11th month, we thank you for unity tonight. Yes, unity tonight. Unity tonight. Unity tonight. So heal the trauma. Heal the trauma. I'm almost done. Heal the trauma. Oh, we can't become who we're supposed to be as long as the trauma is leading us and the trauma is pulling us and the trauma is triggering us. Hallelujah. Oh, heal the trauma tonight. Oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. Heal the trauma tonight. Ah. Yes, remove stigmas tonight. Yes, God, yeah. Stuff that's set up in our minds, Lord God, and our emotion that's holding us strong. We pray in the name of Jesus that is broken tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal the trauma tonight in Jesus' name, Lord God. So, Father, we thank you that as we go forth in the month of November, Lord God, we bind up a spirit of ignorance and a spirit of darkness tonight. Hallelujah. We pray that you release light, that you'll release knowledge, that you'll release understanding, that there's a life-giving spirit that you're going to release tonight, Lord God. We come against ignorance in all of its form. Ignorance is our enemy, Lord God. Help us to understand that ignorance is our enemy, Lord God. We're not going to glorify it, Lord God. Yes, we're not going to, Lord, celebrate it. Ignorance is our our enemies in all of its forms, Lord God. So we curse ignorance. We curse darkness. You are a God of light. You are a God of knowledge. You are a life-giving spirit tonight, and we receive it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. So, Father, we thank you tonight, yes, that we rebuke everything that the enemy is trying to do to trick us, trying to do to deceive us, Lord God, trying to do to make us doubt you, Lord God, and walk away from you. We declare tonight, say it, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil want us to think that he is winning. The devil is not winning. The devil cannot win because the devil is already defeated. Hallelujah. The devil is not winning. The devil cannot win because the devil is already defeated, Lord God. And we will only speak that which you have already said. You said he is a defeated foe. He was defeated on the cross. He was defeated when Jesus was nailed to that cross and he got up from the grave. So we declare tonight, no matter what the media is showing us, no matter what the newspapers are writing, no matter what's being posted, the devil is not winning tonight. There is more that are with us than those that are against us. And we rebuke that deception tonight that will make us hang our head, that will make us lose our confidence in you, Lord God. We thank you tonight, yes, God, that we are already victorious, Lord God. We thank you tonight, yes, hallelujah, that even though we don't see it, and even though we can't put our hands on it, we thank you tonight that it's important possible for us to lose because Jesus has already made us triumphant. Jesus has already made us victorious and absolutely nothing shall separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. So we thank you for victory tonight. We thank you that we're going to speak victory. We thank you right now that we're going to speak it if we're the only one that's declaring it. We're going to thank you tonight that we're going to declare that we're victorious even when all of the facts are against us Lord God because we thank you that your truth, hallelujah, is bigger than our facts, Lord God. We are winners. We are victorious. We are more than conquerors. We win in the name of Jesus tonight. The devil is a liar. 
Jesus is Lord. Oh, I'm about to shut down on that. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Oh, despite what we see, the devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Despite what they keep repeating to us every hour, on the hour, every hour, on the hour, the devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Oh, we thank you now tonight. Hallelujah, that we bind up that spirit of deception tonight. We will not give in to it. We will not sing it. We will not glorify it. We're going to declare tonight, great is our God. Hallelujah. We're going to declare tonight that we are triumphant tonight. We're going to declare tonight that we were predestined for victory. That God saw us in Christ before the foundation of the world. We thank you tonight that that's what we stand on. That's the thing that we put our anchor in. Our anchor is in Jesus, Lord God. Our soul is anchored in Jesus. And come what may, we thank you, Lord, that when the dust is settled, we're going to be still standing in Jesus tonight, Lord God. Oh, the devil is alive. The devil is already defeated. The devil cannot win because Jesus is exalted among the nations and Jesus is exalted in the earth, Lord God. We bless you today for that name that's above every name and that name that is stronger than any other name tonight, oh God. We thank you for it and we declare that we are victorious. Amen. Would you grab somebody's hand tonight? I want you to pray. Hallelujah. That, that prayer of victory for them. Can you find somebody tonight? Amen. Can you tag somebody tonight? Those of you that's watching, we're done. Hallelujah. But before we leave, I want you to come in agreement that over these next 61 days, come on, I want you to pray right now. Over these next 61 days, God, I thank you tonight for their victory, Lord. I thank you right now for, yes, chains that are falling off. I thank you right now, oh God, yes, that the hard part is over. <laughs> hey, the hard part is over. Come on, pray right now. You don't know what struggles they've been through. You don't know what they had to get through. You don't know what they had to push through. Oh, but we declare tonight that the hard part is over. The hard part is over. The hard part is over. Hallelujah. Things are getting better for us. Better is the end of a thing. Come on, come on, pray for that person right now. Better is the end of a thing. Hallelujah. Come on, pray tonight that they're going to end. They're going to end. They're going to end on the victorious side. Hallelujah. They're going to end with joy tonight. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, they're going to end with a testimony tonight. The end of the matter is better than the beginning. Come on, pray right now in the name of Jesus. Pray for their faith now, Lord God, that the devil right now would not cause them to lose faith. The devil right now would not cause them to disengage from God. Hallelujah. Come on, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, pray right now that they be encouraging the things of God, that they don't walk away from all the progress that they have been making in God today. Hallelujah. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning uh, thereof. Hallelujah. Come on, pray, God, that you would allow them now to catch their next win. Yes, God. That you would not allow them now, Lord God, to, to catch their next gear in you, Lord God. That you would allow them right now, yes, to say thank you, Lord, for momentum. Thank you, Lord God, for motivation. Thank you for revelation, Lord God, because better is the end of a thing than the beginning of their, thereof. We thank you tonight for strong finishes right now. Hallelujah. We will not have the holiday blues, hallelujah, this year, but we thank you for strong finishes in the mighty name of you, Jesus. Strong finishes in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. So let us be patient in spirit. Let us trust you to the end. Let us know that your power doesn't need a time limit. You can turn it around in an instant. You can turn it around in a moment. Oh, we thank you for it tonight. Come on, come on. 30 more seconds with your partner. Come on, 30 more seconds with your partner. Oh, we come against a spirit of isolation. that will make us think that we're all by ourselves. Oh, no, you are with us tonight. 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 <laughs> and there's no bad days in November. Hallelujah. We're declaring that. It's no bad day. Every day, yes, is a day. In all things, we're going to give thanks. Because better is the end of a thing. Yes, give us perspective, God. Hallelujah. And we know that all things work together. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know, reminding us of what you've taught us. All things work together, Lord God. We declare it's working together for us. We declare it's working together for us. We declare it's working together for us tonight. Oh, we declare, Lord God, victory in your church. 
Hallelujah. We declare victory for the church today that Jesus shall be exalted. We declare victory over Hammond, Louisiana. We declare victory over Tangipahoa Parish. We declare victory now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. In these last days, Lord God, you're raising up those of us who are going to be uh, walking in your light and walking with your spirit and your understanding tonight, Lord God. We bless you for it on tonight and we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Those who have the capacity to hear from God will not be overtaken in anything. Those who have the capacity to hear from God will not be overtaken in anything. Thank you for preparing us in prayer. Thank you for preparing us in prayer. Now, God, we pray for the war in the east. We pray there, God. We don't pray for one side or the other. We can't figure all of that out. But we pray for a spirit of peace. We pray for an end of innocence that's dying on both sides, Lord God. We pray right now, yes, that justice will begin to prevail, Lord God. We pray right now that your spirit of peace now will fall upon that uh, land that has been deemed holy, Lord God. We pray for Palestinians. We pray for Israelis, Lord God. We come against terror in all of its forms and in all of its facets, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We pray tonight, Lord God, yes, that you would send peace now, not just to Israel, but send peace to the whole land, Lord God. Yes, God. We pray for those whose hearts have been broken because their sons or daughters have been killed. We pray for innocent lives Lord God, that has been snatched away from families tonight, Lord God. We pray, Lord, we're not trying to pray for who's right, we're trying to pray for what's right tonight, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that what's right is peace, Lord God. What's right is justice, Lord God. What's right is an end to violence now tonight, Lord God. And while bombs are going off as we pray, while lives are being destroyed and, 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 and devastation is happening while we pray, Lord God, we we believe that you can calm it all, Lord God. We believe that you can bring an end to it, Lord God. So we do, we use the weapon that we have, and that's the weapon of prayer. This is how we fight our battles, Lord God. We pray, Lord God. We bow before you, Lord God. We thank you that you said the heart of the kings are in your hand, and you turn it whichever way you desire. We pray that you would turn hearts today, Lord God. We pray that you would shift governments on today, Lord God. We pray that you would allow us to produce just policies on uh, today. Lord God. We love you and we thank you for it even now. We love you in Jesus' name and we thank you for victory all month long. It's in Jesus' name that we close and we pray. Amen. Come on, do you have a praise that you can give God tonight? Come on, God is maturing you. Come on. For 61 days of strength. For 61 days of strength. Come on, can you bless God tonight? Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that every promise in prayer is amen. Yes, that everything that you reveal to us, we shall receive. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and grab your seats all over the house of the Lord. Speak, Holy Spirit. Speak, Holy Spirit. Speak Holy Spirit. Speak Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, God. You are great, God. Oh, you are mighty, God. Yes, God. Attune our ears to your voice. Attune our ears to your voice. Oh, you are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. says, I got you, I got you, I got you, hallelujah, God, oh, God, your will, your bond.
our service, God. of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. I hear the Lord saying his hand is on it. His hand is on it. Thank you tonight, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo, his hands is all over that situation. Mighty are the works of your hands, oh God. Hallelujah, God. Mighty are the works of your hands. Thank you, Lord, it's getting easier. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, it's getting easier. Thank you for maturing us in you, Lord God, where we trust you even the more. <laughs> Mighty are the works of your hands. Settle for a few more seconds and we're gonna we're gonna leave. I want you to soak in this anointing that's flowing now. Don't be anxious. Don't be anxious. Just settle. We're soaking God. Because we want to smell like you when we leave. We want to have your perfume our spirits tonight. Ooh, God, yes. Hallelujah. Mighty are the works of your hands, God. Hallelujah. Mila marasa kadala morosa. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. It's maturity. That's what it that's, God says, that's what you're feeling. That's what this season feels like. It feels like maturity, where you have to trust God for everything. That's maturity. That's maturity. That's maturity. When you stop trying to do it and you start trying to trust God for everything. Come on, I want you to hear the word of the Lord tonight. Yes. I don't want you to be uncomfortable in this season. Yes, God, we trust you because you are trustworthy. Mm -hmm. We trust you because you are trustworthy. We love you tonight, God. We lean not to our own understanding, but we trust you for everything. Very well. Let's bless God one more time with a hand clap of praise tonight. Hallelujah. I thank God for all of you who pressed your way, whether you walked in or logged in tonight. We appreciate you uh, so very, very much. Was this not a great time in prayer? Man. I know I was leading, but I thank God for the spirit uh, that was brought tonight. I thank you for coming in with a mind and a heart to seek God tonight. Uh, this was not wasted time. Amen. Very productive time in the spirit. And I appreciate all of you who came, who connected with us uh, on tonight. Before we leave, I do this every month. Uh, and I have a responsibility to do this as the spirit of God is leading us. I want to challenge us to give tonight. I want to challenge us to sow as the Spirit of God would lead us. Oftentimes when we say, let the Spirit of God lead us, we just, we don't even pause to see which way the Spirit is leading us. I believe our seeds are very significant. Amen. I believe seeds stop cycles and seeds bring forth new life. Amen. And so I want to challenge you tonight to sow something significant. Um, I don't know what God is leading you to sow. I don't know what you're believing God for. I don't know what level of faith that you're at, but I'm going to ask that you would just allow the spirit of grace uh, to do that tonight, to lead you to do that uh, on tonight. I want all of you grab your phones now. Amen. Uh, if you're in the sanctuary and you need an envelope, uh, we have some leaders in place that can give you an envelope tonight if you want to give cash or write a check. Uh, you certainly can do that tonight. We just trust and believe tonight that uh, as you allow the spirit of grace to lead you to give, then everything that is needed in the house is not just going to be supplied, but we're going to have plenty left over. Amen. Somebody say plenty left over. I need you to say that again. Put that in the comments. Plenty left over. Amen. 
Uh, we're going to have plenty left over. Amen. And a part of that is learning uh, how to walk in generosity. Amen. Walk in generosity. Allow the Spirit of God to lead you to be generous. So I want to give you an opportunity uh, tonight uh, to do that, to prepare your gifts. We're going to lift them and wave them uh, in just a moment uh, and sanctify them before a holy and a righteous God. If you were blessed and fortunate enough once again to receive income or increase and you know it's nobody but God, you trust God for everything, I want you to honor the Lord with the tithe. Uh, even on tonight, we're going to lift and wave the tithe before the Lord uh, because the Bible says it belongs to him. That's not even ours. Amen. It belongs unto the Lord because it indicates that we are trusting God and that he is Lord uh, even over uh, our lives. And so I want to thank and bless God for those of you that's going to trust the Lord with the tithe tonight. Amen. Signifying that Jesus is Lord. While you're doing that, we're so excited on this Sunday. Uh, not only are we going to have our normal worship service at 10 a.m., but all of you uh, who have never been through New Partners Orientation, uh, my wife and I is going to be sharing with all of our new partners and those who have not been through New Partners Orientation. This is the last one for 2023. Uh, and I want to invite you to have brunch with the bishop. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to have a five-star brunch for you and for your family. Uh, we want you to be a part uh, of that. Uh, yes, there is a QR code that you can scan right there uh, to register uh, so that we can have enough food and enough uh, uh, preparation for everybody. Uh, if you're watching online and you've never been and you're in the area where you can drive here on Sunday, immediately follow in service. Uh, we are going to have a time to share, and it's so very, very important because vision cannot just be taught. Vision has to be caught. Amen. And so I want to cast vision so you can catch vision of what God has connected uh, you to. So all of our new partners, we want you to uh, certainly do that. We thank God for our new partner, directors, uh, minister, uh, minister, David, Deacon David. Amen. I'm speaking prophetically there. Amen. Deacon David and uh, Sister Lakeisha uh, Thomas, we thank God that they lead so very, very valiantly in that area. We thank uh, God for them. So they're going to be leading us in that. Uh, they may have already contacted many of you, but we want you who have not been contacted. Listen, we want to personally invite you to be here for that on this Sunday. It's going to be amazing. And then what can we say about our Harvest Fest on yesterday? Wasn't that an amazing, amazing time? Man. I love interacting with people. I'm a people's person to my heart. Amen. And uh, we thank God for New Life Church who came over uh, on yesterday. Do we have the final number that was baptized on yesterday? Does anybody know that number? I believe it was about 22, 20, 19 people. Let's clap our hands for 19 souls. Amen. On yesterday, that's not going to end the year the same way that they started. We thank God for all of the babies, all of the adults uh, that were baptized. And then what a wonderful time we had out on last night. Uh, even in the cold, it was a tremendous, tremendous blessing. And let me just say, and I'll repeat this again on Sunday, uh, how my heart uh, was so overjoyed to see all of our leaders serving. They were organized. They were in the spirit of excellence. I ain't seen nobody with an ass this Spirit. Amen. And I thank God for that. That's who God is calling us to be, to serve with gladness. Tell your neighbor, serve with gladness. Amen. Yes, I thank God for everybody that served with gladness. Our men that were here, many of them stayed late to 9, 30, 10 o'clock, uh, getting the water out of the baptismal pool, wrapping up all of the rides and everything, and I just appreciate them. I said, God, I'm so thankful for the church that you have privileged me to be a part of and even to lead. So I thank God for all of you that did that. Would you stand to your feet tonight? We're about to be dismissed. Before we do, we're going to consecrate our gifts on tonight. Let's lift and wave them because they're holy unto the Lord, and so we consecrate them tonight. Uh, uh, through prayer. Father, we thank you today that every time we give, we give as a sign of worship. We worship you with what you have given us. So I thank you tonight for the tither that's worshiping you with the tithe. I thank you for those that's worshiping you with a liberal offering tonight as they are obedient to the leading of your spirit in their giving tonight. We thank you that nobody's going to suffer for our giving, but it's through our giving that you return blessings upon blessings to us. We love you and we thank you that there's no lack in the Beacon Light Church of Hammond and there's no lack in the lives of those that's connected to our ministry as well. We thank you that we don't just have enough but we have plenty left over to share. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Say that with me, plenty left over to share, amen. Amen. Would you come and lay your gifts here on the altar if you want uh, to even make a point?
point of contact with your altar as worship, you can do that uh, as well tonight. While you're doing that, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our uh, benediction out of the way so that you can be released tonight. Father, we thank you tonight for our gathering and prayer. Uh, as we leave this place tonight, may Holy Spirit bring back to our remembrance everything that was spoken in prayer tonight. I thank you that this month you're going to continue to speak to us all month long for these next 61 days. They're going to be strong. And we thank you that better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. While you're on your way out, tell somebody better is the end. 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 God bless you.